Now check this out. The media have bombarded us with stories suggesting that First Lady Melania Trump is acting like a woman scorned. CNN, for instance, turned it into Melania Gate and declared the First Lady has gone AWOL. Especially these past couple weeks, um, she's been laying low. Well, I would think so, because, of course, there have been some cringe-inducing stories uh, in the first few weeks of this year. We can only look at those clues like last Saturday when she posted on Twitter the anniversary of the inauguration uh, with herself and sort of a, a, a military escort from that day, not her husband, no mention of her husband. She was scheduled to travel to Davos with the president but canceled that trip at the last minute. Yesterday she left for West Palm Beach, Florida and was back on the plane late today. Now we don't know the reason for the trip. Not moving to the White House immediately uh, was unprecedented. You know, five months after he moved in, she moved in. And then, of course, you know, the fact that they have separate bedrooms. Oh, my God. My next guest believes Melania Trump, get this, actually despises her husband. That's what Sarah Beauchamp wrote in an article on the website called Nylon. She wrote that today. She joins us now from Philly. Okay, Sarah, uh, you look like a very young young woman, very accomplished. You're a writer. You've written all sorts of stuff out there for various publications. Uh, how is it being a feminist for you to question another woman's lifestyle choices, whatever they are, whatever she decides to be? Why are you passing judgment on them and questioning them? I don't think I'm judging Melania's life choices. Well, to be fair, I guess I would judge a woman who would choose to marry Donald Trump. Um, he's truly a disgusting human being. I think that's like a nonpartisan issue. Yeah, that's so, not yeah, ju judging I, at all. Yeah. That that Donald Trump's disgusting. I I think it's pretty much fact. Look at the camera, point. by he's the way. Like look at good... the look at the camera, so our listeners get the full Sarah here. Go ahead. Um, I think that uh, Donald Trump is disgusting. I would say that is a fact. Um, but yeah, my story was more about how it wouldn't be surprising if a person married to Donald Trump d was disgusted by him. I personally can't imagine a worse person to be married to than Donald Trump. So, so a lot of us are speculating that she's miserable. Right. But let me just get this straight. You're a reporter and you're writing about Melania Trump as if she's a political actor here. And you said that that's a fact. That, that you said Donald Trump is disgusting, that's a fact. Well, you're a writer, so you know when you use the word disgusting, that's a subjective statement, is it not? It is not a fact. It is a fact that he's president of the United States. It is not a fact that he's disgusting. You and your liberal friends sure. who sit around talking about how awful the country is under Donald Trump, yeah, you see, I, I grant sure. you that, you think that, but how are you mm -hmm. to judge another woman's choice about a relationship, and did you do the same for instance, when uh, Hillary Clinton stood by her man, uh, when Hillary Clinton decided to fire or not fire someone who had sexually harassed or reportedly sexually harassed someone on her campaign staff, were you making judgments about that or you reserve it for Melania because you think her husband's disgusting? Well, I wasn't covering the Clintons. I was too young for that. With the most recent thing with Hillary, of course, I would criticize her for doing that. Was her I'm husband not, disgusting? I, I'm not a, who, Bill Clinton? Well, first of all, you just continuing to be like, what about these Democrats is not really an argument. I mean, you should be able to speak critically about the Trump administration. I mean, your whole segment has just been talking about Democrats and what they're covering. Now, what I'm, it, yeah, what I'm, yeah, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do, Sarah, is like, OK, you're it's fine. You're a liberal and you don't like Trump. That's fine. But to write something about a woman's. Uh, decision to you know travel to Davos or not travel to Davos you make this wild leap of logic without any factual underpinning that I know of uh, and yet you you know you carry yourself off so oh it's a fact that this is what's the fact what's your evidence it's my opinion that he is gross and I can't imagine being married to him I'm sure she well, I don't think anyone cares whether you want to marry headlines. him or not he didn't ask you to marry him. It's like, who cares? Whether, like, I, there's you, a lot of people you, you probably you wouldn't want to marry. You care about my opinion of him because I'm on your show right now. So you can't no, no, care I'm about my to, I'm trying to understand how a but woman first, like you, who carries herself off, off as a feminist, tries to get in the mind of another woman. Maybe that's her decision. It's her decision to believe what she wants to believe and live the life that she wants to live. Maybe she thinks it's the best thing for the country. Yeah. Maybe she's wildly in love with her husband, but like all of us are disappointed with people at various times. Maybe you have the whole thing wrong. But as a woman uh, and as a feminist, why are you questioning other women's choices? 
Aren't you pro-choice? First of all, good one. Being a feminist does not mean that you're not critical of women. That you know that that's not what it means. You know it means equality for all genders. That's exactly what feminist means. It does not mean that I have to be nice to every woman that I meet. Um, Melania is complicit in administration that has been abhorrent as of now. I mean, racism has gone up, anti-Semitism has gone up, anti-LGBT sentiments have gone up in this country. She's complicit in a pretty gross administration. My article was about my opinion. I think he's disgusting. I can't imagine being married to him. And all the pictures we see and her swatting his hand away are not evidence to the contrary. It kind of looks like she's disgusted by him. That's what my story did, was about. All yeah, we have did to go you, off of are the images yeah. and videos that we see. Right. Yeah, that's fascinating. So did you looks, um, did you ever did you ever comment? She looks pretty yeah. nice. If they're happy, good. I hope she is happy. I mean, oh, I'm she sure you do. Something attractive I'm about sure it. you hope she's happy. Sarah, did you oh, cool. comment Why at all about Michelle Obama uh, spending an extra three weeks in Hawaii in 2014 after that unfortunate, uh, you know, uh, deal with the you know selfie at the Mandela funeral? Did you write about that or think about that? Like she spent two, like I guess two and a half weeks, something like that. I don't, uh, after that I little episode at Gail King's, you, you don't remember that? Yeah, no, no, no. I don't remember Obama about that being face. in the headlines. Did you remember for that paying one hundred thirty thousand dollars in hush money to an, a former porn star? Yeah, well, after you, she you remember the magazine yeah. in the hotel room a few months after I, his wife gave birth to their first child. I think you remember I that story about Obama. I think, yeah, that I guess that might pass as logic so, for your maybe generation. If, maybe but if you want to remember Obama what the you want to remember. Like that, yeah. Michelle would have avoided him yeah. for a couple of days. You never know. Uh, we we yeah, will never well, know because there's I, literally I think, comparing this administration to nothing gonna, that's come before Sarah, it. It's Sarah, I have insane. one question. Do you, are you going to give back the tax cut that you get because of this abhorrent, horrible president? Are you going to give it back to the Treasury to? Fund some liberal program you know, or I don't save think it's a snail too much darter. Of the American people to ask for a decent man as their president and someone who can give them a tax cut. I'm not greedy for wanting both. We can want a decent person okay. leading uh, the free right. world in addition to being good at business. That's not too much okay. to ask. All right, Sarah. Well, you have a lovely evening. And Hillary Clinton's embarrassing cameo at the Grammys.